This is what I call a reusable Mentos. And when I drop it into soda, you get this. How cool was that? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what this is and how you can get one yourself. Never spend a dime on Mentos again. We're also gonna have challenges. What erupts higher, this or actual Mentos? Three, two, one. Place your bets below. We're gonna put them under microscopes and I'm gonna show you all the other items I tried until I finally found this awesome reusable Mentos. Let's go. This idea started a couple of videos back, Types of Science Teachers, and in it, there's this annoying teacher who everyone is commenting, oh, that's just Vsauce. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Where I say, let's talk about the structure and composition of a Mentos. So many people commented on that clip and said, wait, I wanna know about the structure and composition of a Mentos. Wait a second, we don't need to use Mentos and soda. Now, in order to make a Mentos reusable, we need to know what causes it to react with soda in the first place. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going in for a close-up now. To understand Mentos, you have to realize that there are little nucleation sites, little pits on them that resemble the craters on the moon, and those gas bubbles settle into them, and as it drops, that's what causes the eruption. And that's where all the carbon dioxide gets stuck. Fruit-flavored Mentos, let's see if we see the same type of craters. And I, I still see some craters, it's just not as deep. We've all heard that mint works best. Is that actually true? Let's challenge it right now. Here's the fruit, here's the mint. In three, two, one. Wow, wow. They actually both work. Seeing that even the candy mentos work, this got my hopes up. So I got curious. What else can I find that can resemble the surface of a mentos? I decided to go do some shopping. The type of item I needed was something small that could fit into the bottle, something that just wasn't smooth so that the gas bubbles, the carbon dioxide, could settle into it. All right, now before we test out all these materials to see which one gets us close to a Mentos, another question I often get is why is Diet Coke the best one to use the Mentos eruption with? There are two things I'm gonna look at. One, does Diet Coke have more gas than regular soda? So more gas leads to more of an eruption. Or is there something in the actual liquid that's causing it to go higher? So I carbonated it using Soda Stream. I have a feeling I did something wrong there. It's leaking out. I went three times as high as regular soda. That looks a little better. And using dry ice. There goes the bubbling. We have this bubbling real good. We're gonna see if we can get a Mentos eruption out of this homemade, carbonated, fizzy soda. We'll put a couple in for good measure. Three, two, one, and nothing. Nothing. I wasn't expecting nothing. I was wondering why isn't it coming up? And I didn't get to the answer quite yet because when I use a soda stream with a ton of carbon dioxide, and now for our test. One, two, three, Oh, it came out just a little bit, but that's cool. It actually worked. It didn't come up with a lot of force. And that made me realize you can't just have a carbonated drink to have an eruption. There's something else in Diet Coke that's causing it to erupt. And that something else is aspartame. Diet has aspartame, which is fake sugar. Now, regular sodas just have pure sugar. Aspartame is slippery, so it helps the carbon dioxide separate from the liquid and shoot up. And that's why when I pour different sodas into the container, you see some of them have more fizz visible, and that's because the fizz, the carbon dioxide, is easier separating from the liquid. That's why I bought aspartame and figured, let me go back and try it. I have a whole bowl filled of this. Is this aspartame the missing ingredient? Uh-oh, don't erupt on me. Don't erupt. Not supposed to erupt on its own. No, 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 no. It's doing it without Mentos. Let's see what happens when I add Mentos. Get the mint Mentos. Nothing. It's actually surprising. And that tells me that's more than just the aspartame that's causing it to erupt. The Diet Coke has the flavoring, has the coloring, and all that is coming together with the carbon dioxide to cause an eruption. Now that we know that Diet Coke works best, let's see if there's any material that can cause it to erupt just like a Mentos does. Regular marble. Not surprising, it's smooth as ice. It's just a piece of glass. Next up, there was a rock that I sanded down 
hoping the grit from the sandpaper looks like sandpaper just makes straight lines. Last but not least, the reusable Mentos marble. This, this has a texture on the outside from the marble. Carbon dioxide might just hook onto it. All right, moment of truth. Let's see which one will become our reusable Mentos. So here we are doing the final test. Mentos on the left, marble on as the second one. You see it erupting. That shocked me completely. The Play-Doh actually surprised me too. The rock all the way on the right surprised me the most almost because I thought for sure that one would work. It, I didn't see it floating there at the time that now I see why it didn't work. It didn't sink. The regular marble, I didn't think that was gonna go at all because it was smooth. And it surprised me when it just launched up. It gave me a, a delay and then boom, it just shot up and out. You don't see the height on it, but it was pretty high, not as high as Mentos. The Ridge Marble was actually an afterthought. It was the last thing on the list to try. I didn't think it would work at all. I figured, you know what? I have it here for the sake of science. Let's just do it. Let's use it. And it surprised me that it actually worked just like a Mentos did. And I was just so excited to realize there is something other than a Mentos that can cause a Mentos and soda eruption. I know that it worked, but the question is, just how good does it work? Reusable versus actual Mentos. Reusable, right here. Candy Mentos, over here. Four, and the key is to press it together. Three, two, one. Watching the marble drop in, shooting up right next to the Mentos, both going super high, was so satisfying to see. Now, these marbles are reusable. So I wanted to lay out a line of soda bottles and put them in one after another to show that these marbles are actually reusable. The way I did it, I built this little contraption. It lowers into the soda and then we pull it straight out. That's one. Now, I take it out without having to reload anything. Three, two, one. Not really working. And that's when I realized we have a problem. It erupted in the first bottle, but the second bottle, it didn't come out at all. And I was confused. This isn't Mentos. This is a marble. There's no sugar dissolving. Why won't it work the same time after time? And then I realized the soda, which is now coating the marble with a wet layer, is blocking access for the carbon dioxide to attach onto the marble. Therefore, I need to dry the marbles. And that's exactly what I did. Let's go. <laughs> The key is to dry it. Lift it up. One. Reuse. Recycle. Screw it on. And that is it. Reusable Mentos. And we actually did it. We actually got something to replicate the eruption of a Mentos and soda. And how many times have you heard over and over so many people talking about Mentos and soda eruption? We actually created something that is so unique and different and new and better than candy Mentos because you can reuse it over and over and over again without spending a dime. 10 minute video that you see here, hours, days, weeks go into planning and thinking and coming up with the ideas. So that moment that you saw that soda shoot up out of that bottle from that marble, falling in for me, all that hours, all those days, weeks of work was worth it. If you liked today's video, stay tuned for more. Every week, brand new video, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Here we go. Three, two, one. Stay incredible, guys. Oh, nice, wow. That really worked well. <laughs>